and we're live. We're live. Yay. Hi, Sonia. Hello, Welcome. Kevin. Thank you. I was reading in the chat, some people were um, asking for the most benevolent outcome for your technical difficulties. And look, how Yay. is it? I think it's clear. Am I coming in clear, guys? Because it looked horrible on my um, live stream this morning. So You are. I'm seeing it. <sighs> Yay. Thank you. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. Literally, I had tech people here for two and a half hours working on my internet. All divine timing because uh, they happened to have a cancellation and they sent the people right over. So we finished up a half hour ago, right before going live. So there you go. <laughs> well, you know what's interesting about it? It's like, all the worry and like upset and all of that, it doesn't change it. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, we're still gonna like, it's either gonna go back on or it's not. And all that stuff, sometimes yeah. I'm like, why do I get into all of that worry? And then yeah. I'm like, eh. anyways, yeah. wasted. Cause here you are and you look wonderful. Thank um, you. I just posted the little thing. If people could hold their questions because, um, I'm still new at this and it's such a, it's hard for me to multitask <laughs> and to be like starring. And um, I want to be in conversation with Sonia because um, yes, she's a dear friend, but there's things that I don't know about her. And this is the first time she's been on my channel. Yay. So what an honor. Oh, Yay. it's my honor. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> well, we spent a, a lot of time on um, calls together. Yes, and we on have. shows together, but um, here we are. So thank you. This means yes. a lot. It's like having a friend coming over. So that's right. Yay for us. And thank yay. you everybody for being here. And thank you for um, helping me with the pinning. I th I was like, oh, sure, let's pin it. Um, and didn't realize <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. So that's wonderful. Hello, everyone. Good to uh -huh. see everybody here. And yeah, we'll be on for about an hour or so. We are going to get to some questions, um, some spiritual and personal questions um, kind of in the second half. Um, but I've got some questions for Sonia that just feel, um, I just feel there, some of them are juicy and I'm just Ooh. so curious. I know. I like juicy. <laughs> <laughs> and on a Friday too, yeah. Friday? Yes, happy Friday everybody. And hello to everybody who's coming in. Um, Thank you all. How yeah. wonderful. I was going to make an announcement, but I think, actually, I'm going to do it now. Is that okay? I'll start with it. Yeah, I always have to do the announcements because otherwise I'll forget. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, I'm going to have a contest to thank you all. I just want to say that first and foremost is thank you all um, for subscribing to my channel. And subscribing and actually not unsubscribing because my way might look a little bit different. Um, and I'm just so appreciative of each and every single one of you. And it's shocking that in just a couple of months, um, we're almost at 4,000 subscribers and I just want to pay it forward. And so I've got, uh, I will be having a contest once we hit that 4,000 mark. Um, I should know how close I am, but I don't because I only look occasionally. Um, but in that, um, there's going to be a wonderful contest um, that I want each of you to be eligible for. So um, it will be a really nice prize package, including an hour uh, reading of your choice or healing um, with me. Oh, so nice. I'm, I'm so excited. I love to be in contribution. That's um, one of my purposes in this life is to just... Um, you know, be in that. So just a small token of my gratitude for you, each and every one of you. So that's going to be, I, will, cool. I know. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. Um, okay. So Sonia, um, I think I did this correctly in the description. I've got all of your contacts. I've got your website. Mm -hmm. I've got your email. I've got your YouTube channel. I've got it all. <laughs> Yay. Wow. <well>, all right. <laughs> so that's um, really important. So any of you that haven't subscribed to Sonia's channel, head over there. Sonia Rain Lee, I think, um, actually, if someone could put the, the YouTube um, link in the chat, 
That would be wonderful. I should have had that done. Oh, no, that's fine. Note to self. But subscribe <laughs> to her channel. She's lovely. She does, um, I think it's is it every second Wednesday, you do the Wellness Wednesday? Just two Wednesdays out of the month. There's no oh, okay. rhyme or reason now because of my uh, part-time job. I have events some Wednesday evenings, and I don't know when they're going to hit. <laughs> so I just kind of fall in there where I, where I when I can for those dates. Perfect. And I love that, um, that show that you do and you bring on different people um, and there's different conversations. It's wonderful. And then the other one that I look forward to, and I think this is it every Friday you do the every coffee Friday chat. Morning. Yeah. I love it. 830 Pacific um, time. Yep. And it's just wonderful. Um, oh, thank so you. Need to, yeah. I look forward to it because it's a collective read. And I find mm -hmm. in that, um, the times that I, I get to tune in, which is more often than not, there's something there for me. So I'm, yeah. I'm so in appreciation for that. So um, check out those shows that she does. And then, of course, she's got her sister channel with um, EQ, the Soul Sisters, and it's wonderful as well. So you guys are coming onto my channel as well. I know. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I love it. Um and I was reading your bio and I knew some of these things, but I didn't know at all that you are a certified law of attraction mindset coach. Yes. Um, I'm going to pause there because what actually is that? So I wanted to think of a different term. Unfortunately, the word life coach has gotten thrown around so much. And I know, especially here in California, there's so many people that are like, oh, yeah, I'm a life coach. I'm a life coach. I'm a life coach. And because it's been thrown away, it's kind of taking the power away from it. Mm -hmm. And people think, some people think that when you say life coach, that it's this person that's supposed to be with you for life. Mm -hmm. And when I wanted and decided to become a coach, I said, what kind of coach? I want to do something that's going to help empower people but not where they need to rely on me. Mm -hmm. And I wanted something that had a more of a spiritual base to it as well. And the law of attraction, I remember years ago, I was told uh, to read the book Law of Attraction with um, Abra by Abraham Hicks. And mm -hmm. he, that's Jerry and Esther Hicks. They were a husband and wife. He has passed on, but Esther Hicks uh, can channel Abraham who provides messages and things. And, and the law of attraction simply is what you put out in the universe is what you get back in return. Mm -hmm. And so all the principles and the coaching that I've learned, it was a one year certifi certification program. It provided me tools and techniques to help people utilizing these different tools to be able to make changes and transformations in their life. And mm -hmm. what it boils down to is a mindset. It's really about a mindset. And so I, you know, I, I thought about that and I said, you know, I kind of like mindset coach because mm. what I am doing is teaching people on how to use these tools so that they can start making the changes themselves. And it may just take them a few sessions. It's not a right. thing that goes on and on and on, you know, unless somebody really needs that help and decides, yes, I want to continue with coaching, but it's more of me to empower people with these tools so they can take them and use them in their lives to make whatever transformation that they're looking to do. Mm, I love that. And I just, I got another question around it. Um, because they said to ask this, so how much of your um, intuition, your psychic ability, do you incorporate in that work? It's funny that you asked that. When I mm. first started out doing this, I hadn't fully awakened yet, right? But it still was coming from this intuition of dealing with people. I've been in service for many, many years. And so I've learned to pay attention to the client or, or customers in the case of other uh, positions that I've had and learn to really listen. So intuitively, I could really tap in, not knowing that I was an empath during that time mm. to be able to tune in to what was going on with this individual. Now it's like, oh, okay, I can really utilize all my skills to tap in what's going on. But also with that, I'm very careful because what I do is I ask a series of question questions so that that person can answer it for themselves. Mm. That is how you empower someone. It's not about me telling that individual what to do. 
Right. It, it's more of, well, what do you think? And when you do that, how does that make you feel? And why do you think that comes up for you? So mm -hmm. what I do is I keep going down into a deeper space so that they can make these discoveries on their own. And then if I do have a suggestion, it's always asking for permission. You know, uh, is it okay mm -hmm. if I share something with you? Is it okay if I tell you this, you know? And, and so this way we're working more, they're doing the work, I'm not doing it for them. Mm -hmm. I love that. And finding the ways that I, I, I won't say too much, but I was doing um, a reading this morning and it's about our process and, you know, staying in the ethic and the integrity of it, but mm -hmm. customizing it along with how, you know, we're intuitively led and, and how spirits, you know, sometimes it's, um, you know, depending on the modality, it's like, you're supposed to do it this way and this way only. And when we kind of look beyond that and stay within the, you know, the ethics of it, um, I think it's beautiful because I think that that offering um, is even um, greater, if you will. So I love yes. that. Um, and hello to everybody who's coming in. I appreciate it. I know there's some, <laughs> I didn't know this and I do apologize. I try to be mindful of other people doing their lives. And um, I know for many the um the politics and stuff is what um what you like and that that's totally wonderful so um, yes. thank you for being here yeah even you. if it's just for a minute um i think that leads into the other question about your awakened abilities when did you um recognize that so i started my spiritual journey about 2016 and it was a lot of work as far as going deep within to resolve a lot of things. And I have to tell you, being on this journey and the things that I've experienced and done has been more transformational than it has in the therapy that I did when for many, many years of having mm. experienced, you know, childhood trauma. And during the journey, I would say it was probably about five years ago, really, when I started working with plant medicine that helped oh. me to strip away a lot of stuff and that is what helped me to awaken and discovering different gifts and talents that i didn't know that i had <laughs> mm. and the more and more and i feel that you know all of us we it's not just one awakening i feel like that we have a series of awakenings and things that uh, we grow into like just last year that's a year ago i the mediumship came Right. Yeah, you, I love <laughs> that. And I wrote that in your bio. And you, the only thing that I edited a little bit was I just, I said, um, I'm, I, you changed, you had different wording and I put uh -huh. like psychic medium. I think you said developing. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're all developing on some yes. level, yes. Um, but I was like, mm -hmm, psychic medium. Yes. Um, and yeah, you guys in the chat, please. I would I would love comments on your own personal experiences that um, relate. I, I feel like that's a part of the learning and the um, mm -hmm. the gift is when we share with each other. So please, please um, share anything you would like. And I'm curious if in reflection around your gifts, your awakened abilities, in reflection of like through your childhood, do you now see things where you kind of go, oh yeah, like I'm, I'm curious if you see that. Um. Probably when I was younger, you know, we have, we're so innocent when we're little. Mm. And I remember having imaginary friends and talking. Um, I remember those aspects of things, but my trauma happened when I was 12 years old. So after that happening, it was like I built like this fortress, <laughs> fortress around me uh, that no one could penetrate. So I completely closed myself off to everything and didn't allow myself to be in a space to feel, or I was, I was in protective survival mode. Mm -hmm. And so from that point, all the way up until I will say like my late forties is, is when I finally started letting those walls down mm -hmm. to be able to know like, Oh, wow. I can feel things. I can, <laughs> I can experience things because I didn't want to, I was scared of getting hurt mm. or, or being violated again. And it's scary, you know, it was really yeah. scary. So it took me some time, but yeah, I'm sure. Now my brother, on the other hand, he has always uh, been really 
since he was young, um, had, you know, astro travel and all kinds of experiences. And I remember going through those with them thinking, what's wrong with him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. What's going on with him? He's weird. You know, my brother's weird and, and I feel bad now, but yeah, at that time I didn't know. And, and to sit with him now and talk about the experiences that he had and what he went through, it's very fascinating. Yeah. So fascinating. Yeah. You mentioned the fear part of it. I'm seeing it in some of the comments about people and just the acknowledgement around the fear in this, um, process and in this journey. And, and we learn, I think, in some um, respect to replace the fear with a curiosity that's there by nature. And I love that when people come into it, and I encourage that, that, you know, um, some of the, the things that would appear um, to be fearful, um, say in the meditation where it's like things are dark and sometimes in that um, they can be the most expansive if we, if we go into it and we're protected and we, and we have that um, mm -hmm. going into it, you know, replacing the fear with the curiosity. Yes. What unfolds from that can be the magic. So. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, mm -hmm. we also have to realize that uh, dark and light, right? We need that fine balance. And mm -hmm. sometimes we have to go into the dark in order to bring out the light. Um, yeah. we, we have to do the work that is necessary within us. And I know for me, with a lot of the ceremonies and things I did, it was so dark. There was so much that needed to be healed and dealt with. But I love that I would always come out at, on the other side Right. There's the light. And I felt renewed and refreshed. And uh, so, yes, as, as Kevin says, get curious, mm -hmm. find out if it feels too scary for you, then look at someone that can walk with you and guide you through that. You know, there's yeah. so many different processes. And I realize plant medicine is not for everybody, but there's other different things you can do. There's shamanic journeys, mm -hmm. there's um, different types of meditations and find what's right for you, but do, do the work because it's, that's, what's going to create more balance in your life. Yeah. I love that. And that's the, I mean, that's one, that's the, I think my number one reason for doing the YouTube is the community and the stuff that I've learned. Um, my partner was asking me that this afternoon about like, you know, what are some of the takeaways? And it's like, the community part of it and the learning is just nonstop. And I love that, you know, people sharing their experiences. Spirit wanted me to mention, because you mentioned being an empath and I definitely am an empath. And I know most of us, if not everybody um, in the chat is an empath. And the Anita Morjani book, um, Sensitive is the New Strong, Mm. really woke me up around it to identify. And I think that it's twofold. It's so good for um, adults, but I think it's good for adults that have um, children or the grandparents that have children or grandchildren. Um, it's such a tool and it, and it uh, really um, brought a lot of learning and understanding. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend it um, yes. to anybody. Um is there any ways that you felt that you've struggled with your gifts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah, maybe you just answered that. But I think that's so relatable. And I'm just, I guess I'm curious about what that looks like. How do you balance it? How do you, um, how do you handle that? Well, I mean, like you mentioned, community is important. Mm. I think, you know, I always talk about it's great to have, well, there's a couple of things. It's great to have community, right? Your cheerleaders, people that are there to support you and uplift you, as mm -hmm. well as you being your own best cheerleader for yourself. But um, not only do I have my online community, I have my spiritual community here as well that I connect with. And being surrounded and being around like-minded people, it feeds my soul. It feels mm -hmm. so good. And uh, I think also it's about getting into a routine for yourself. I, I wake up in the morning. I do my sitting in the power. I also have my affirmations that I do. If there's time, if I can, at least two to three times a week, I do my breathing technique exercises. Uh, these are all different things that help to keep me grounded and to start the day off right. Right? Don't you want to start the day? I mean, I've woken up some days and I'm just like, oh, do I have to do this day? I don't want to be bothered, blah, blah, blah. But I notice when I do these things, 
it's it's like that's just stripped away. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and as they say, sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. <laughs> Uh, so there may be some days you don't feel like it, but just doing one or two of those things can make a huge difference. It really can. Yeah. Do you actually, that's, a, I love it because it kind of leads into one of the other questions about manifestation. Do you think that that's a part of it? Meaning um, if we're coming from a place of lack that we want and we need something <clears throat> versus we already have it. You know what I mean? It's almost like we have to fool the mind on some. I'm curious what you think about that. Yeah. Well, again, law of attraction, like yeah. attracts like. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have this, I don't have it here with me. I have this diagram and there's like this middle point and up here is all the positive uh, emotions. Mm -hmm. And down here is all the negative emotions. And if we find ourselves swimming and living down here, you can't manifest anything down here, okay? It's, 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 again, it's like attracting like. So if you're feeding and living in fear, guess what? You're going to attract more fear. Mm -hmm. If you're living and feeding into uh, self-doubt or anxiety, any of those, that's what you're going to attract. When you're up in these higher vibrations of happiness, joy, abundance, love, that's what you're going to attract. That's where the magic happens up here. Mm -hmm. Now, with that said, this down here isn't necessarily bad because these are our alert systems. This tells us, uh-oh, uh-oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> something's going on. What's going on? And pay attention to me. I need help. I need you to pay attention to something. And so when we sit with these things and get curious about it, Mm -hmm. Why am I feeling this fear? What's behind this fear? Let me get curious with it. Why do I react the way that I do? That's when we can begin to heal it so that we can move out of it up into that higher vibration that we want to, where that manifestation happens. Mm -hmm. So quickly on money, if you're consistently believing, I don't have enough money, that lack, lack of money, um, I can't pay my bills or I'm having trouble with this and, you know, whatever comes up with you around money, you're creating that, that energy around that. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're going to stay stuck mm -hmm. versus I am open to receiving more. I am grateful for the money that I am receiving. I am grateful that I can pay some of my bills uh, you, now you're generating something new here and money's going to flow to you. And I've mentioned this on my channel before. Every time I spend money, and I got this from uh, Ken Honda, who wrote this book, The uh, it's called Happy Money, the short title. And I will say, thank you. I love you. Go and be happy and bring back more friends. Mm -hmm. And it creates this fun energy around money good. and it feels really good. And mm -hmm. sure enough, you know, it, it's, it's like I have money flowing now. It's not like thousands and thousands of dollars, but <laughs> my money is moving and I love it because I came from that space of lack. That was what I was doing. I was just creating more of it. So it's all about, again, we're back to mindset and what is it that you want to create? Yeah, I think, I don't know if someone in the chat would um, correct me on this one around, I don't know if it was the follow-up to The Secret, if it's the same author or something, but the I think it's called The Magic, and it taps into, because I think with the manifestation in Western culture, we kind of got it, all, we got it kind of right, not completely, and in yeah. the follow-up, I think the book is called The Magic, and it focuses in that place of gratitude. And that's a mm -hmm. very different vibration. Mm -hmm. And yes. so in that one, I love it. That book is great. And it gives you, mm, I don't know how many weeks or um, it gives you these, it gives you homework and you, you can participate in it. It's quite frankly, it's um, life changing. Oh, I, I, I love that, that one. Book. I haven't heard of mm -hmm. that one, uh, but I know yeah. when the secret came out, they left out a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so people are yeah. going around saying, I want a car. <laughs> Where's my car? 
hello. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, it didn't work that way. And people were very confused and they were like, oh, this is garbage. It doesn't work. And, I, you know, I didn't know either. I just thought, oh, you put it out there, you're going to get it in return. And there's there's a lot more behind that because it's about alignment and being in that, you know, higher vibration of, of bringing things to you. So, yeah, it's a lot more than that. But, yeah, I want to check that out. The magic. <gasps> the oh, magic, you yes. A super sticker. Uh, Cheryl, thank <laughs> you so much. I was telling Sonia this backstage. Um, you're my first super sticker, and I appreciate it so much. And you, if you choose to, um, I would love to offer you a free reading. So if you can reach out to me, Cheryl, I will put my email. Please reach out to me. I would love to um, gift you a free reading. And thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, That's not what it's for for me, but I understand the exchange and I appreciate it so much. So in that, I just, yeah, I can't wait for you to to reach out and thank you. Um, around right. Congratulations, so- Carol. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and then um, Jeffrey just gave you a- uh, Oh, Jeffrey, thank you. Mm. That's so kind of you. Um, Sonia, spirit guides. I know you have such a close relationship with your spirit guides and I've, I've heard you talk about it. And um, it's one of the questions that people have been asking that have um, a feeling that they're not connected or their connection isn't um, quite what they want it to. So I'm wondering if you could offer um, what you would have to offer um, as far as suggestion around, um, I guess, deepening or, um, yeah, deepening that connection with spirit guides. Yes. So the first thing is talk to them. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so- Talk to them. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I love you so much is because you're so um, you're so relatable and down to earth. And I mean that in a way where it's like, you know, sometimes we just need to hear it, how we would say it friend to yeah. friend. And I love that. I love that about you. So <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I I'm guilty of it, too. I will uh, talk to them sometimes and then other times I'm not talking to them. And there's so many different things, but I'm getting more in the habit of having deeper conversations with them. And there's different ways you can do this. The first time that I connected with my spirit guides is this woman had put out this fantastic meditation of basically what she did. She had, had me going, what did she said, going through the woods and you come out to this clearing and there's a beach and you go down to the beach and there's some Someone's sitting over on the beach. Who is it? Mm -hmm. Take a moment to go over there and talk to them. And like, literally, I visualized three of my guides, which someone had told me a while back that I had three main guides that I worked with. So I found that very fascinating. So that was my first experience with connecting with them. There's also really neat exercises that you can do. Um, One of my favorites, and I have a funny story behind one of them, but one of my favorites is... You just sit and ask your guides to show you something like Mm. it's it's almost like a little game. Think of it as a game. And -hmm. you say to them, um, you know, I want you to show me something to show that we can connect. And whatever's the first image, don't think about it. Whatever's the first image to come in mind, go with it. So the first one I did uh, was a rabbit, a white rabbit popped in my mind. I'm like, where the heck am I going to see a white rabbit? And the the other part is don't be so literal about it. And so I'm thinking I need to see this fluffy white rabbit running around. Mm -hmm. Well, and it took a while. It wasn't something that was right away. It probably took about three to five days maybe. And I was watching TV. It was the new Matrix had came out. And the woman turned and there was a white rabbit right there. And I went, (gasps) oh. (laughs) <laughs> and I got really excited. Yeah. So the other one that's really one of my guides' name is Zachariah. And he is the uh father of John the Baptist. And he is a messenger of God. It took me a while to kind of get all this information of who he is. So one day I was like, okay, Zachariah. And he came to me. He whispered, I just I was like laying down and I heard Zachariah, and I was like, 
what the heck? <laughs> and I was like, okay. Uh, so over time, I found out who he was. And I said, okay, Zachariah, if you are real, because a lot of times, and I'm sure many, many of you experience this, you ask yourself, uh, am I crazy? Am I hearing things? Am I seeing things? Right. Like, I don't know. So I had to ask him because I was feeling a little crazy. And I said, Zachariah, oh, Patricia gave you a- uh, uh, Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you um, so much. I said, all right, Zachariah, if you're real, let's let's play this game. What, you know, I need you to show me something. I need to connect. And the first thing I saw was a black feather. So I waited a few days and I'm looking and I don't see a black feather anywhere. Now I'm getting frustrated. I'm like, okay, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm hearing things. I'm crazy. So I went for a walk one day and I said, okay, Zachariah, I, I I, you know, and I talk to my guides like I'm talking to anybody, like, what the heck? Really? I, I haven't seen any black feathers. I'm going crazy here. I don't know if this is real or not. And uh, so I said, I need to see a black feather. I need to know that you're real. <laughs> so I'm walking down this hiking trail and there's this black bird spread out <laughs> dead. Black feathers everywhere. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, thank you. Maybe a little less dramatic, please. <laughs> yep, I love that. <laughs> so, yes, have fun with your guides. Talk yes. to them, get in conversations mm. with them. Um, they always, you know, when I do the <laughs> chat and I get messages, sometimes they're really funny. They'll, they'll do things. I remember one where I was talking about celebrating or something and I went to go grab my cards and they fell out mm -hmm. and there was the word celebrate. Yeah. And I just started laughing because they have jokes. They, they can be really funny or serious and, but you got to build up that relationship mm -hmm. and uh, automatic writing for some people is another way. That's another thing that I do uh, to get messages from my guides. I'll, I'll write down whatever it is that they're saying to me. Uh, yeah, so there's different things that you can do for sure. I love it. I mean, the big one is just being in the conversation and not, you know, just waiting and being on the receiving. One time I was doing, a, I think I was doing, I can't remember if I was doing a reading or if I was, ah, I might've been sitting in the power and just be in this conversation. I was like, like, give me like, 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 like give more and more and more and more and more. And they were like, well, wait a second. Like, you oh i know what it was i was asking for them to come closer come closer come closer mm -hmm. and like all of this demand and they were like they whacked me on the back of the head not <laughs> literally but like you come closer you know that you're a part of this as well and it was like this aha moment of like oh yeah like get curious be get get nosy i say get yes. nosy ask the questions be in that conversation um get to know them um i love that um and yes, thank you, Patricia. Thank you so much. Um, oh, thank I like you for noticing that. Go ahead. And I, I like what Susan says. Uh, we have to be quiet long enough to hear. Yes. Mm -hmm. For Isn't sure. That's so good. What? Well, I think I posted the wrong one. We had to be quiet. There we go. Mm hmm. Yeah. Be patient. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I've got two more questions for you, and then we'll go into some questions. Okay. Ooh, this um, is cool. Sorry, I was just reading what Austin wrote. I remember seeing a spirit of a little girl around the house a lot when I was younger, and one day I saw my mother drawing an exact portrait of her. <gasps> wow. That's I super cool. Bumps. That's yeah. so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you know what I was going to share? What? So Grade 10 or 11, I was in acting for grade of 10, 11, and 12. And my best friend, Sarah, who I am still best friends with, it's her birthday today, actually. So I was meant, yeah. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, Sarah. Is Fox. she here? No, she's on oh. holiday. Well, she's on she, holiday. She, she misses I, her happy birthday totally. song. <laughs> we'll sing it to her. She often watches the after hours. So. Anyways, oh. we were doing, we would do, okay, we would stay up for hours and hours and hours and hours. And we had the old V8 or the camcorder. Uh huh. Well, we would do all of these videos. They were all ad lib. They were just all of these skits. Well, one of them, lo and behold, is me 
and I'm a medium and my name is Zachariah and all of it just came out. No, I'm not kidding you. I think I'm your spirit guide. Oh, I love it. Well, can you keep it down at night? Cause you know, totally. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. And I have the video and my partner got to watch this about a year ago. Cause she got them put onto, cause they were on a, anyway, she got them put onto a, a disc. I don't know, but we watched it. How fun it's, is that? It's pretty magical. Anyways. I love it. Um, you, you knew at a young age what you were going to be. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was coming out. Yeah. Um, tell me when you feel the most peaceful. Ooh, hands down when I travel. Travel is my, li- well, I don't want to say it's my life, but it's a good, it's a big portion of my life. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I started off, I worked in the travel industry uh, for a little bit. And actually my, I had, in college, got my associates in travel and tourism. And then I went on to work in the hospitality industry. And I don't know, I just always wanted to work with travel. I've traveled all over the world. COVID really upset me because I was just like, Mm -hmm. ah, I threw everything off. But I just, I just enjoy it. It's something about it. And I think maybe because I live in the city, I live, you know, I live in Los Angeles for those that don't know, it's just always buzzing and there's always something and I'm, it's exhausting for me. I'm, I'm ready to make a change, trying to figure out where that's going to be. I don't get to be as fortunate as Kevin and live in the beautiful <laughs> space that he's in. Oh my God, you guys, you, you live in paradise. Like it's, it's beautiful. so magical mm-hmm. and beautiful. So when I travel to different places, just finding the beauty and the magic in each and every place and the people, I so appreciate the people and respect their customs. And it's, I don't know, it just warms my Mm. heart and it feels really good. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yes, the ocean too, Jeffrey. I'm with you on that one too. I Mm -hmm. love it. Mm-hmm. And Ron, perfect. I saw that you said that you sent me an email. Awesome. I'll watch out for that. Um, it might take me a bit to get <laughs> I had some emails, um, but I will, I will reply. So thank you so much for that. And I did see Cheryl, I did see that my notification came up saying that um, I did receive it. So thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and then last question. I mean, there might be more, but um, your favorite animal or your like, and a totem animal that's currently working with you or both? Uh, Well, one of my totem animals is the panther. And uh, it came to me in one of my, there's like a really deep story. I won't go into it about that, but it was a really powerful experience. So that is one of my, my animals. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that, why do we, why do we work with the animals? What do you think is different about like, animal spirit. So I guess I have one more question. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> um, um, around think, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of them serve as protection. Um, mm-hmm. At least that's been in my experience. And I've seen what I actually saw uh, during a, a ceremony, someone else's animal, and which was a white wolf. And it was just guarding her and watching over her as she was going through what she was experiencing. And I asked her later, I was like, is your spirit animal by chance a, a white wolf? And she's like, yes. How did you know? And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I saw it. <laughs> oh. And it was very protective of you and watching over you. And the one that I, um, my panther uh, came out during this time and was there, it was very protective of me. So uh, protection, I'm sure there's more that we can learn from them. I haven't really worked with mine too much. It was just this really profound experience that I had. Cool. <clears throat> I love the animals. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm working on a show around the animals and animal totem. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't I wait can't to hear wait. more about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <gasps> do you want to do some readings? Yeah. <laughs> We've got time for a few readings, so let's do that. Um, I put in there. Put your questions in caps, spiritual and personal questions. And here's the thing because I'm still kind of new at it, um, just holding off on asking the questions until now is so helpful. So I appreciate that um, because I'm new at this. 
and I, I, <laughs> I miss things. Did you see Sonia was like, Oh, you got a super sticker. And I was like, no, I didn't. Thank you. So, <laughs> I got you. Anyways, Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I was just reading so, some of other, everybody else's spirit animals in here, which mm -hmm. is really cool. <gasps> oh, yeah. Uh, Scott I'd love has to know the, what those the panther are. as well. Scott Scorpio's son, Terrell, he has the, the panther too. And Susan has a fox. That's so cool. Love that. Love that too. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, thank you, Seascape. Big hugs to you. How are you feeling, Aww. Seascape? Are you doing okay? I hope you're feeling better. Aw, I do too. I don't. I'm not sure what's going on, but always sending you. Yeah, that. I have a, a prayer list that I do. Just so anyone, anyone that knows this, so who doesn't know, I have a prayer list that I put up every Sunday. And uh, if you need prayer, please put it put it on the list. I would love to pray for you. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, Sonia is fascinating. Um, she's become a dear friend and I, I learned a, a, a several new things about her. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that, yeah, you guys working with her one-on-one, -on -one, I think what a, a, a amazing mm -hmm, experience that would be. So if you do, I've got in the description, her contact for, um, all of the offerings that she has. So, yeah. and I think I will probably close the questions. Um, yeah, and I do uh, energy healing as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you find, this is just another random, but um, do you find that you, in your, because I know you're a Reiki practitioner, do you mm -hmm. find that you... Um, are in conversation as you're doing it, or are you kind of keeping it separate? I'm curious about that. I keep it separate. Uh, mm -hmm. I like to for the person to really. So if if it, it's there's a big difference from because I do a lot of distant healing right because of COVID mm -hmm. and all that we you know everything was distant, but when I was doing in session with people. Um, I work with crystals too. So I like them to focus on the crystals that I lay either yeah, place on them or around them. And, um, but I use the crystals too when I'm doing distant healing as well. But I like for them just to focus and to relax as I do the work. And then I share what comes up afterwards. Cool. What about you? What do you do? Um, I just wanted to see who sent that because I'm so... Mm -hmm. That was it's, it's in the music, Diana. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. I appreciate it. Aww. Very sweet. I love it. Yeah, check out that book, um, Diana. The one that we mentioned about, and I think it's in the chat that uh, Anita Morjani, um, sensitive is the, is the new strong. They just told me to mention that to you. So um, there you have it. Mm -hmm. um, what did you ask me, or did I ask? <laughs> <laughs> when spirit <laughs> talks, I'm like. <laughs> How are your sessions? Do you as well? Oh, um, yeah. Do you talk or? I, I have been doing more of that, to be completely honest. Um, mm -hmm. And because I, just the the holding back in that part of it with the hands on was something that I always struggled with. And just, you know, getting really disciplined in because I, I do Reiki as well. And I do um, spiritual healing and just in it, the yeah, it was important for me to be in the expression of it and not always, but when I do feel it and spirit, you know, says now is the time I do yeah. gently have that um, conversation. And that's what it is. It's, it's often a, a dialogue and a conversation that's happening. So um, I do. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so yeah. much. Aww. Oh, that is so kind. Uh, Windy and running away. Uh, I'm so. Oh, grateful. you guys are gonna make Kevin Wendy, start crying. I know. Seriously, I don't like. I I really. I, if I if you know one thing about me, I'm. I don't. Um, You're well deserved. Uh, I know, but it's not why I do it. I I, I, know, I just buddy. I love to get back and you know. It's, it's that beautiful I appreciate it. Thank exchange. you. It's, it's an energy exchange. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's wonderful. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. It takes something for me to acknowledge it, but I appreciate it um, probably more than you know. So thank you. Yeah. Um, I appreciate it. Oh, come All here. Right. I'm going to give you a hug. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm hugging all of you. Um, bless you for that. All right, let's do some questions or because watching Kevin Blubber is... <laughs> All right, let's, let's get to oh, it. I love you all too, and I love you, Lisa Foster. Thank you. All right, how do we do this again? How do we get to the question? Okay, so you're gonna go I'm over kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, you. I'm like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, any messages, Allison? Any messages from my guides concerning if I am on the right path with spirituality? Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you without. Um, it's an instant. Yes, you yep. are on the right path. Always. Um, you always are on the right, right path. We all are. And according to our preference sometimes or our patience and things like that, you know, it can look different, but we always are. Um, we're here to learn. And that's the, the one thing, you know, that we have in common with the purpose of our life is we're here to have experiences. And so, yes, you are. Um, but we'd love to take that a little deeper. Hmm. That's so funny. We were talking about the animals and the totem and the card that came out is the animal bond. Oh, look and at so that. Al Al yeah, Allison, I feel like there, um, there is, <gasps> stop at what? Animals. <laughs> See, I tell you, spirit has a sense of humor. I love that. Yeah. Allison, I actually see the swan around you, the white swan. Um, and there's some aspect, there's a, there's a, oh, okay. I thought it was a chain at first, but it's a necklace. And there's something about the medicine of the white swan for you um, mm -hmm. in relation to just being the, um, what is that? Okay. It's, uh, Okay, it's the material thing where it's like you are you're so different than um, you're so different and unique in a in a beautiful in a beautiful way that the material things don't mean um, as much as the bonds that you have is what they're saying. So you can display the beautiful necklace, but the um, what's deeper to you and what's more more meaningful for you is those connections that you make and. And I would look at, in addition to that, is the medicine of the white swan. That's so funny that we were just saying about the animal show. I know, I, mean, I know. That's like amazing. I love it. I love it. So yeah, I got animals for you as well. And allowing yourself to um, just connect with your anim animal totem. I think there's more that can be shown for you. And what's coming up for me is possibly, and I don't know if you've done it already, Allison, but shamanic journeying and going on a journey with your animal. And if you just go to YouTube University, I'm sure they have a lot more, but I feel like you've been through some things uh, with this dark matter card, but you're coming out of it. You see all those little butterflies there? There's transformation that's happening, but spirit mm -hmm. also wants you to spend more time in silence. So going within and um, that's through meditation, as I said, feeling that shamanic journeying for you, the base I have the grounding. Get yourself nice and grounded, allowing yourself to make that connection. Um, and there's, and look at this, there's animals around this card too. I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> so blessings. Oh, I was just making some more of you moderators and I'm doing my best to remind myself about adding more. So each time I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, in between my tears. <laughs> my there tears you go. Are or you going to be like Lisa, right? Give everyone a wrench. <laughs> totally. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Thank you for your question, Allison. I appreciate yes. it. Um, oh, this is an interesting. I love this. Earth Angel 81 asks, am I able to heal people in what ways and why would I need to be careful? Um, it's interesting. And, and I love your question. And I feel that spirit does this in a way that um, in this this reading is coming up again. And so I know there was a lot of um, information that's also for other people. And so I will, I'll just be careful in, in not disclosing um, obviously the personal parts, but the part that's there for me in that was the reminder and spirit said it um, loud and clear. And they remind me this every time I step into um, the healing modalities is that our ego can get in it. And I know that you're not in that. Um, just being mindful in your question already tells me that you're aware that um, there are things that are greater than us <clears throat> and will be placed in people's lives and healing can occur. But my 
spirit tells me that I am not the healer, that they are the ones that are doing the work. And I release myself from that because if I, if I, if I get too wrapped up into thinking that I can fix and change and heal people, um, I probably suffer a, a lot more. So yeah. that's what they're wanting me to share with you in that. And I know that Sonia, um, probably has more to add to that. Yeah, I, I, I do struggle with the word healer, um, <clears throat> even though it's the more word, you know, it's the word that people identify with most. Um, sometimes I'll just say I'm an energy worker because I'm just a vessel. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I do, and I did this before my readings too, I always ask spirit to take ego and to remove my ego, to set it aside mm -hmm. so that I can step into being coming this clear vessel uh, for messages to come through or for the healing to come through because it's not me. I'm just the instrument, right? Uh, the container, but I am not the person that is doing the actual act. That's all mm -hmm. coming through. I've also connect, um, I had Archangel Raphael that will come in sometimes during my sessions to help channel through the uh, healing that needs to take place. Um, are you able to heal people? Yes. We all have energy. We all have the ability. It's whether you want to step into that space is the question. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's there are different ways. I strongly suggest I don't have my energy books there. Two energy books that are really good that could be helpful um, because Reiki is not the only type of uh, energy healing. That's just one form mm -hmm. of it. There's so many different ones that are out there. Hold on. I'm going to grab my two books uh, so you can take. I love it. Minutes. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to add this, that this card came up for you, Earth Angel 81. And I think that this is a perfect visual of the land between. And I think that that's what they were saying about we are that conduit. We are sometimes that connection in the, <clears throat> the meetings of the universal or the spiritual energies that we work with. Um, and in that, the connection with other people. So um, I, I know you are um, you are a healer. And in that, um, yes, we have to be careful in the area of the, and we were talking about that earlier, the area of like ethics and integrity that can't be, um, they're non-negotiable. And so in that, um, follow what you know is is true. Follow that knowing is what they're saying. So yeah. Mm -hmm. For anyone that's interested about energy and, and um, using different techniques and stuff, there's this one that's called the Subtle Body Practice Manual. It's a, com a comprehensive guide for energy healing. Uh, this is by Cindy Dale. So that's one. And then this is my favorite one. I really like Donna Eden. Uh, you can Google her on YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard of her. She has this one called Energy <clears throat> Medicine. And if I, I don't think Donna it does practice Reiki. She just does energy healing, but she's a well-known uh, energy healer. And she has a lot of great techniques and things that she does. But this is also a great book. It's, uh, it says Balancing Your Body's Energy for Optimal Health, Joy, and Vitality. So mm -hmm. I, I strongly suggest these take a look. Yeah. So Austin knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows Donna Eden. <laughs> uh, so she has a lot of great uh, techniques and things. And I did pull one card for you and I got richness, marine life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it's there. It's abundant. There's, and I feel that this world can use so many channels, so many different people to utilize this mm -hmm. uh, to bring forth. So Try it out. You may like I love it. it. I can, I got this hit again. And Austin, I don't know if you channel, if you understand your, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've been in my chat before. Um, welcome. I might have seen you on Sonia's. I can't remember, but they're saying this, and I maybe you already know this. Um, <clears throat> the the channeling. I, I, there's something with you and and channeling. Your, um, I don't know. I'm curious if you would understand that, but um, that's what I'm hearing. Because you've said his name a couple times, Sonia, and I, I, and then I just, wanted yeah. to mention. Mm -hmm. Super um, cool. Interesting. Thank you so much for your question, Earth Angel. Yes. And you. we've got Deborah Joy with the big sunflower. Deborah, is that your aura. last name? I love. If that's really your last name, that's super cool. So bright. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, messages can be like. Yes, I've heard a lot recently. Interesting, Austin. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And writing an aspect of writing with it as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deborah Joy. Whoa. <laughs> Deborah says, I wish. Well, it was very interesting because uh, very rare I'll have songs come through, but when they do, it cracks me up. But the first song I heard for you that came through was Don't Worry, Be Happy. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> be happy. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. So mm -hmm. I love that. Um, as you're saying that, Sonia, I've got, I don't know if it's mom or grandmother, but motherly energy um, saying hello. I, I, I have to say that. I know that's not your question, but spirit gets to sometimes override that or always. And so <clears throat> there's that. Um, uh, interesting. Okay. So I was like, I wanted clarity around this, Deborah, and there's, opportunity for, I don't know if it's directly with you, it's within your energy. So there's someone that um, might actually need to hear this or you or perhaps both, but there's this aspect of forgiveness that's going on. And so um, that might be, they're showing me a mirror right now. So I don't know if there's um, parts that, and you don't have to go into detail, um, just parts of, of looking in the mirror and being forgiving um, on yourself and and outwardly, but there's um, mm -hmm, there's something around that that spirit's acknowledging. Interesting. Mm. Maybe I'll pull another card. Okay, while you pull another card, I do sense that there's something heavy that you're working through, Deborah. That you're going through. I have the card, mm. the rain, and if you notice, there's kind of like a hole there, so something that needs to be healed. Um, I have the protection, the cave. I feel like that you've kind of gone in and that you're trying to work on something and deal with mm. something. And I pulled the dark matter card too. So um, it, it's like things have kind of spiraled, but I always like to point out the butterflies and the dark matter card because there is that transformation that can happen. And whatever mm. it is you're going through, the light will come, right? We were talking about earlier with the dark, there's the light. And at the base of my card, look at that magic. Mm -hmm. So you will get to the other side. Just uh, trust and oh, look at this! More light right underneath that electricity. I love that. So, I love that deck. I don't know if I've seen yeah. you use that. <gasps> yeah, I this is that. the elemental uh, deck. Love this That's deck. That's a good one. And this is by no mistake. Oh, sorry, Sonia. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just showing what deck it was. The elemental oracle. That is, I have to get that. Yeah, I love you do. The it's, it's a good, uh -huh. a I get a full yes. And then this card came up again, and this just and I did shuffle, and it's that land between. So there's aspects of the conversation around. Um, and excuse me, I forget who that was, the reading was for around the healing. Um, Earth angel. Yes. I, Yes, mm -hmm. around that. So there's something in that messaging that was there uh, for you as well. So, um, mm -hmm. and you said butterflies, didn't you? I see butterflies yes. around you as well, mm -hmm. Deborah, um, related to the <clears throat> the motherly energy. Um, yeah. So there you are. you in light, Deborah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, that's interesting because I saw yellow around you as well. So. Mm. Super connected to spirit. And... Oh, get some. Oh, Deborah, I just got this. And get some yellow flowers, like the flower that you have there in your icon. Uh, get some yellow flowers. Oh, that's so funny. I got yellow flowers over here because I love yellow uh, flowers. But yeah, spirit saying get some yellow flowers, just brighten up the, the space around you. And mm. I think that's going to bring in. Um, it's amazing just how little things can just brighten everything up for you. And that's what I'm feeling for you. So good. Moon compass. I love your Moon profile compass. picture and I love that name and the little feather. Too. If I can, my old aging eyes. Is that, I, I was like, a I feather. Know. wait, hold on. <laughs> it's a raccoon's tail or a feather. One of the two moon compass. Yeah, totally. It's a feather. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, That's really cool. It. I like it. Oh, I get so distracted. Um, <laughs> thank you all for being here. Yes. Uh, Moon Compass. Um, yeah, there was a question, Kevin. I would like to know what you see happening with my job. Any changes coming? Oh, and she has the swan. She has the swan. 
at the, the end swan of the Yeah, there's a swan there. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God, we were talking lesson. about the swan. Look at yes. that, all these synchronicities. I love it. Love, love, love yeah. it. Yeah, I just heard invite serendipity. Invite mm. it. Invite it. Okay, this card I think goes, um, if you want me to go ahead. Yeah, go. <clears throat> so the cultivating prosperity, I feel like you've been planting this. So I feel I, I kind of, um, I'm aware of the, of the thoughts that you have around it and how you've, it feels strategic and planning and or in your thoughts, you've um, played out different scenarios. And I feel like things are now lining up. So like the, the prosperity and the cultivation of that, um, the abundance is there for you. The prosperity is there for you. Um, mm -hmm. You're worthy of that. Um, so it's just being in the acceptance of that and knowing that um, you're, 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 you're worthy of it. Um, we yeah. all are. So in that, just be in the receiving and um, <clears throat> they're making me, they're replaying me with my moment there where I got emotional around the receiving. Sometimes that's actually hard for me and, and, and other people have shared with me that it's, yeah, it's the receiving. Yeah. It's there for you. Um, all of those changes, I feel you're very powerful within, um, your intention. And if you feel like the type that it's like, you know, what the right fit is and you know what the right fit isn't. Um, and so the no's that you've kind of had are actually gifting you the yeses and the, and the opportunity that are actually um, better suited for you. So I do see change coming. I think it's actually um, kind of like, you know, three months or less. I do see some changes around your, um, your job in particular. Yeah. So you'll have to let us know. Absolutely. Yes. Change is coming. But it's also about you creating more balance for yourself. Uh, again, we have the light and dark. That's been a theme tonight, talking about light and dark. Uh, so just bringing more balance into your life that feels good, staying out of your head with the five of swords. And I feel like with this, it's more of, um, Kevin, it was something that you said that hit the nail. And that, yeah, being accepted, uh, mm. the acceptance part of it and being worthy of yes. it, knowing that you are worthy of it. So mm -hmm. instead of aligning with the energy of wondering, uh, you know, I don't know, can I do this or am I worthy? Whatever comes up for you, get out of your head about that and tap into the, the beautiful magic that can happen. This is the star. So I do see that happen, but it's about what you want to put out there. And, you know, and I had pulled one more card and I got the six of pentacles here. What you beautiful. put out is what you're going to get back in return. So it's that give and receive aspect. Okay. I love it. <clears throat> Thank you for being here. Thank you for your question. I didn't see you in the comments, but maybe you'll watch the replay if you weren't. Um, and for any of you that have channels of your own, um, I invite you to post them, post them in the chat. Um, that's always my, um, that's an, an, an instant yes for me. So promote yeah. your own um, shows, put your link in the chat, please. <clears throat> oh, good. Uh, Moon Compass says uh, the star card always comes up. Oh, there you go. Our always comes up for me. So very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. So good. Some new people here and I love it. Um, Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. yes. Diane Moore. Um, I would love a message Hi, from Diane. Spirit. Diane, I'm curious if you're still here. Um, and hello to... Spiritual so hello to the yeah, the new people and <clears throat> anybody who's come in. Hello to you all. Um, Diane, are you still here? Diane Moore. Blue Ocean. Um, Steph L. So, um, Diane, what I was seeing was a door and spirit was saying, um, you got to open the door. You have to open the door to go through. And then the first card that fell out for me is uh, beginnings, the east. Look at that portal with the light coming out. So mm -hmm. whatever you're contemplating, whatever it is mm -hmm. that you're working on, spirit's just saying, open the door. 
yeah. just open the door, walk through the, the, you know, this is beginnings. So like new beginnings. And I feel like this is um, kind of almost like a restart or, or um, something new is going on. So just walk through that door, open it up and walk through. I'm just gonna pull mm -hmm. two more. I'm picking up on that resistance as well. And so when we were talking about um, aspects of fear and um, working through that, you know, still continuing and being diligent and persistent is what they're saying around, because I do feel that there's something there that you're, you're looking to work through or to kind of, um, it does feel new around it. Um, Mm -hmm. And spirits saying, yes, they're saying, go for it. They're saying, walk through that, um, the temporary fear, which is often just an illusion. Um, and on the other side of it is that magic. I think that's what, um, mm -hmm. so there's yeah. something there. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely something there. I, I pulled the, the rain card for you too. So there's mm -hmm. something that you're, you're working through, but just know when you walk through that door, look at this, this is the card of expansion. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So much is going to open up for you. And Wayne, this is the elemental oracle. Yeah. Such a beautiful deck. Yeah, that makes sense with the illumination. Yeah, look mm -hmm. at that. Oh my God, the cards are so similar. Yeah, and what was neat is I didn't see this before. This card came in reverse, which it looked just as beautiful in reverse. Yeah. I don't know. There's something there in that where it's like that, you know. Look at you know, that. It's like, Same yeah. here. <gasps> Isn't that so interesting? Uh huh. We were talking about that illusion, and fear will often do that, where it's like yep. fear will stop us from moving through it. And yeah, there's something in that duality where it's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, you know, it looks the same. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, Diane. it does. <laughs> Diane, walk through the door, girl. Walk through that door. <laughs> walk on water. <laughs> Fun. Ooh, that feels good. Yes. That feels real good. All right. Blue Ocean, I think I saw that you were still here. And yeah, you, the questions are closed for tonight. Um, we will be on again. And Sonia, I hope she'll join us again. <sighs> I know she's coming on of with um, EQ and mm -hmm, always yeah. the open invitation. The Soul Sisters will be here in September. Uh which will be like tomorrow practically. Yeah, right. My Isn't gosh, it crazy how September. quickly these months are like going, shoo, it's insanity. Okay, yeah. general message of what's coming Oh yeah, out. we're doing a question. Blue ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's often why I, not often, that's another part. I mean, I love company and I love community and I love doing collabs and it's probably keep me on track. Yeah. There you have it. Like, oh yeah, squirrel. Yeah, totally. Swirl. Oh, yeah, we're doing live. <laughs> Things. Oh, we're live. Um, <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. Um, oh, Deborah Joy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, Deborah. Mm. Let me just pull a clarifying card here. It's funny, I was thinking the same. Mm. Um, so I pulled, uh, I actually pulled three cards. The first one was the stand your ground. Um, the second card was let it go. Mm. And the third one was the endless possibilities. And so I think, um, I feel like spirits really just acknowledging, um, uh an experience a situation that you are um in and just really standing your ground in it um i'm also a, um i'm a, i'm it's a perfect example i'm i can't even speak your throat chakra that i it took my voice away i'm really aware of your th throat chakra in your self-expression, there's something in there, how standing your ground um, and letting something go, it's like, it's almost like this feeling of holding on to something that um, it's almost like you're supposed to, or it's like, that's the thing that people expect you to do, but it's, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's actually serving you. And in that letting go of it in some capacity, um, 
feels like an option. And I'm, and, I, and, you know, you always have obviously free, free will about what you, um, choose is right. But spirits just reminding you, um, I'm just trying to get them to tell me the words. Um, they're, they're going back to the self-expression. So there's just something there. Um, and you don't have to go into de detail of understanding that or, or sharing, but there's, um, there's something there in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I ha I'm sorry. I had to laugh quickly because Wayne has said, maybe your spirit animal is really a squirrel. <laughs> For sure. Who knows? Um, so, <laughs> Yes, Blue Ocean. I'm I'm feeling something too that that needs to to be released. Um, and I feel like you're trying to bring more balance in. Okay, I have the motion card, and mm -hmm. this is I feel like that you are making some progress to. And this is the equator. That's again we have the dark and light bringing in more balance into your life. But uh, there's still I got the uh, the furry fury, not furry, <laughs> the fury card bushfires. So this, this could be uh, maybe possibly anger or just something that you're really going through right now. But I do see transformation happening for you. This is the pressure. And it's, it's probably feeling that's what could be causing this too, of not being able to fully. It's almost like, you know how sometimes you get so upset about things that you just can't talk about it. And then that's kind of the feeling I'm feeling, but releasing that. And I, I pulled a clarifying card and I got the hangman. So maybe trying to look at things from a different perspective as you go through this transformation or this pressure of letting go of whatever is that feels like it's heavy that's laying on you right now. So I hope that helps and makes sense for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your question, Blue Ocean. Mm -hmm. um, and there was just a few people asking about readings. You can go to my website um, that I put in the chat. Um, uh, I think I have a banner. Da, da, da. I do. www.thehealingmedium.ca. And I have, um, oh, this is an interesting one. Okay. Louise R. Are you still here? And then Steph L. Are you still here? the person who is going to buy my business reconsider or will I get a better offer? Ooh. Hmm. Louise are perfect. You are still here. Okay. Um, would you understand having an offer that didn't um, go through? Or this isn't the first time that you've had it for sale or mm, what are you telling me? I heard repeat. I heard repeat. I heard a repeat. The first time uh, for sale. Okay. I don't know. I do feel like there's something going on with this, uh, the person. Um, hmm. Was there another offer, though, that didn't come through? I'm, I'm being asked that again. Um, Hmm. <laughs> okay, her name is Christina. No, she was it. Interesting. Um, okay, I mean, I'm going to share with the cards that I got and maybe Sonia's will um, clarify mine. Um, I get an uncertainty around it. That's the energy of just right now. So I don't know if I'm picking up on aspects of her 
indecision or her um, hesitation or something around that, but it, it feels like it could go either way is the energy in this moment. And that could change within an hour. So um, be mindful of that. It feels like a powerful move. So in that, the energy of it, um, spirits acknowledging, it feels like a really good decision. Um, the next couple of cards were interesting. I got the smoke and mirrors and um, and another uh, dream thief. So refusal to um, refusal of the call. So in that, I feel like that is connected to um, the potential buyer's energy just in this moment. It could just be the cold feet around it. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to get worked out, but spirit is saying to be patient. So just yeah. really being in that patience um, it's like the house Sonia was, you know, 30 minutes before she's like, my internet might not be working. Um, I, so there were, and you know what I mean? Like we can be in all of that and it doesn't actually change the end result. So just really reminding um, you and us to be patient in it. Um, the outcome will be the outcome. I do feel like your business will actually um, be sold to this one. Time will tell. Yeah. That's what I get. Mm -hmm. So I quickly divided it up into do two different ways. So I uh, first looked at that the person's energy right now. And immediately mm -hmm. when I tapped into it, the first thing I felt like there, there is something going on um, with this person. It felt, I think there's some conflict, but if you decide to stay with this person, I think it mm -hmm. will work out. So this is the proposal, right? The, the offer. And um, I have, you know, this is, the entrepreneur, you being the entrepreneur, but then I got the five of swords. So there is some type of conflict. There's something that's there. Mm. If it's not happening now, maybe something may happen, but at the base of my deck, I do have the star. So I feel like there may be some rockiness here. Um, I, I also have, and right underneath there's the devil. So there's, there's some mixed stuff going on with this particular person, not to say drop the deal and run, just be aware of that and just kind of work through that to see with the, will you get a better offer? I got the six of swords. It may, but you know, it may be a little rocky at first with another offer coming in. King of swords, but I do see that there could be another offer coming in and the lovers. So there is that that partnership, that connection at the base of the deck, I do have justice. Mm. So I think you're gonna be fine either way. It's just that one is gonna be a little rockier than the other, so. Um, I would say with that as well to, and as Kevin mentioned, this is what the cards say now in this moment, but if mm -hmm. you have someone that's helping you to facilitate this, it's always, always important to get legal, um, uh, advice and information on these type of things. Okay. Absolutely. Right. For entertainment purposes only. Uh huh. <laughs> Absolutely. YouTube for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> um, and Steph L, are you still here? I didn't see, but Steph L, are you still here? Mm -hmm. so will I be moving this year? Will it be in Massachusetts, New York City or other? Steph, if you're still here, can I move with you? Cause yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out where I'm moving to. And running away from home, I love you. I love your handle. I love you. I love that too. I love you. <laughs> I love you a lot. I love it a lot. I like you a lot and I love you a lot. Um, and hi, Prince Charming's mom. I love hi, you Prince too. Charming. I love all of you. Um, I love everybody. I think we'll just answer this because this is the last question that I have posted. Okay. So maybe if she watches the replay. I'll be moving uh, soon this year. I'll pull from this deck. I get more of a hit around Massachusetts. I don't know if I said that right. Mm -hmm. um, I get more of a hit on that than New York City in this moment, but I don't know if either. Um, okay, of course, Dean, you most of all. Of course, you already know this. 
<laughs> oh, Austin's asking about the painting behind you. Oh, oh, my angels. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, with the little cherubs. I got a couple of those paintings. Um, Machachuchu. Machachuchi. 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 Um, Machachuchi. Um, I see you in more. Okay, so I don't. This is how they're. And I got the card, so I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> I see you in, in the quieter environment. So New York City, I think that's why I got less of a yes on that one. And here's the thing. You could pick up tomorrow and move to New York City. Mm -hmm. So in that spirit, it's just saying that there's something about the solitude or just the little quieter environment that feels um, more aligned for you. And so um, I do feel like a move is going to happen um, when you've got options of moving, you know, to, to different states like that. Um, it feels like there's flexibility. And so that feels really good to be able to be in that position. So um can you move? Will you? Absolutely. I see there's something that's um, a little bit quieter, like a little more foresty, a little more, um, I always get these two mixed up, a little more rural, let's just say that, than urban um, is the feeling that I get. So that's what is coming through for you. So I looked at both of them. I looked at Massachusetts and then New York City. And it's interesting because with Massachusetts, I have the seven of swords. It's like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like that you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. I'm still searching in search mode. Um, like there's a little bit of a certainty there. I also have the three of swords, which is very interesting. But af after that, I have the knight of swords, like, you know, mm. doing your little, your victory there. And, and look what's at the base of the deck, the six of wands. So um, there's something that you're questioning about Massachusetts, but Either, even so, with New York City, I have the three of pinnacles. It may be, and I feel like around this, it might be some people or friends or somebody that you have in New York City. Mm -hmm. um, I have the judgment. You know, a part of you feels like, oh, that could be it. The emperor. Um, this is, uh, I, I don't know. I feel like New York City, there's something that you feel like is going to create some stability for you. Uh, and the, the base, I have the empress which is like birthing something new. Either way it can go, but I have to kind of agree with Kevin. I'm feeling like, and, and maybe this is what you're, you're conflicted by. I don't know if that's the right word, but mm -hmm. maybe it's something about that more solitudeness that you're not sure if that's going to be right or not for you. But I feel that either one, you can't make a really bad choice. It's about you going deeper to see what feels right for me, what's going to feel really good. Mm. And, um, um, because the outcome on both of them are good. So. I love it. And Melody, I love you dearly. You know that I love you dearly. Um, I, yeah, we got to a handful of questions and that feels really good. And for those of you that we did not, um, we will always try um, on another show. And Sonia's got a couple um, what what do you have coming up? Uh, well, the Soul Sisters, we're on Monday at 6 p.m. That's where, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, myself and EQ, we do mini readings. And the newest thing that I just posted today on my community page is that I, you know, I love that sense of community and for women, especially with everything that's, you know, our rights and everything being challenged and things mm -hmm. that are going on in this world, I decided to start an online, um, like a, a virtual women's circle. And wow. it's a place to come to, there's no judgment, uh, diversity. And the first topic of discussion is going to be the power of your voice. And mm. this is for us all to come together to talk about maybe any challenges or what you may be going through and in, in really standing strong in your voice and your confidence, your power. Um, I'd like to do these once a month. It'll be a different topic each month. And I want to do it around the either the new moon or the full moon. The new moon mm. where we can set intentions. The full moon, if it falls, is about releasing what's not serving us. Uh, so that's wow. something very new. And I'm very excited about that. Wow. I've, I've done so it there's, in circles, but not online. And so there's still room left in that 
Yeah, it's. It, I just posted it today. It's happening oh, August twenty seventh, and it's donation based as well. Like, because I want everyone to have the ability to be able to. I admit. love that. Yeah, check that out if you feel called to it. Check that out. I yes. I love that. Um. So thank you, and Sonia. Yeah, the energy was beautiful tonight, and thank you all for coming, Sonia. I love you dearly. You I know love that. You too. Thank I you love so reading much. with you. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Yeah, I love spending time with you and each and every one of you in the chat. Thank you so much. Um, for being here and um, spending your time with that, us. It means so much. And for all of the contribution, thank you. And yes, we will see you all again. I'm actually on tomorrow. I'll mention with um, Sun Psychic Jean on her channel at one at 12 o'clock um, Pacific time. So for those of you, if you didn't get questions, um, answered here. Um, we'll be, I'll be on her show tomorrow. So beautiful. And, and Jasmine yeah. just gave you a super sticker. Oh, Jasmine, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. And thank you, Sonia, for catching that. Yes, of course. I appreciate it. All right. Bless you all. Thank you. We'll see you again. Bye.